I finally did it. I purchased a Scuf Gaming, Scuf Impact professional gaming controller by Scuf for the PlayStation 4. Uh, this is also compatible with PlayStation. It's a fully customizable professional gaming controller that you can pretty much build to your liking uh, using their online web building type of tool. I went with a pre-built model by which they were having a, a really nice deal going on and I, I thought I would take advantage of the sale that they had. And I just went with one of their pre-built SKUs and they sent this out to me. So without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing experience of this Scuf Impact gaming controller. I also kind of want to talk about my first impressions, if it's improved my gaming, uh, if at all, because I'm just a casual gamer at best and I'm kind of actually terrible. But hopefully this will help me make $3 million by starting to play Fortnite. So right here, welcome to Scuf. Pretty much get a 5% discount. So if you're watching this video, you can use Scuff5 if you hit their website. I'll have a link to their website below and take advantage of an additional 5% discount from them. Thank you, Scuff. Here's a manual, which kind of shows you how to uh, set and map the buttons because this comes with pretty much everything in the package. I got it for a really good deal. Kind of hard to turn down. Here is the controller itself. Fantastic, this looks beautiful. We'll get to the, the box here in a minute. But you can see the honeycomb down here and it has a really nice matte finish to it. One thing that I'm not really keen on or a fan of is this off-center audio jack. Just move it over. I have OCD and I like everything symmetrical. Everything else is symmetrical. Silver buttons, really nice. Um, middle button here is not sticky because I saw Air Bear did a, a review on this controller. Uh, he was having issues with that sticking. Looks like that has been resolved. On the back side, four paddles and some additional grip. This is absolutely phenomenal. This thing feels freaking great, man. My first impressions of just holding this thing is awesome. This feels so good in the hand. I'm gonna have to get some practice with these four paddles. I'm gonna have to map them to what I need to, get busy on some Call of Duty Blackout and see if it improves my gaming. Uh, this also has adjustable trigger stops so I can make hair triggers and whatnot. Plan on doing that. And again, this is just my first impressions. Packaging and everything has been absolutely awesome. So let's get back to what you get in the box. Looks like you get one of the keys to remove the thumbsticks. You can make a, you can order some domed ones or some longer ones and you can remove each one of the thumbsticks on this. So those are replaceable. On this side, there's nothing. Here is the trigger stop key and some longer R2 and L2 triggers, which I probably won't use, but it's nice that they included it. And then finally, the EMR magnet, which helps you, you place it right here and you can map each one of these, uh, these paddles. Uh, that's the unboxing experience of this. It doesn't come with a carrying case or anything, so you're just gonna have to take care of it or order in addition or another thing from them. Uh, if you see this video in time and they're still running the, the sale that they have, you can save quite a bit of amount of money on these pre-built SKUs of the, the controller. They have a lot of them and you can save uh, like 30 bucks at max and that's really, really nice. My overall first impressions of the Scuf Impact controller for the PS4 are pretty good. I really love how this thing feels in the hand. It's got a nice matte finish on the front and it feels really nice. The grip on the back allows me to play for a while without uh, you know, sweat interrupting and losing grip over the controller. My son does favor this controller over the basic one as well because he has little small sweaty hands and this allows him to get grip on it. I did opt to remove the two inner paddles. They just ended up getting in the way. Plus this is like my first experience with having paddles on the back of a controller and I really, really do like those. I will say that I'm a little disappointed that you can't map L1 and R1 to one of these. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, if I am, because I'm so inexperienced with uh, these types of controllers, uh, leave me a comment down below and tell me if it's possible to remap L1 and R1 to the back paddles. If it's not, then that's fine. From what I could find on the online is that all face buttons are the only ones that can be uh, remap to the paddles on the back. One thing that I want to mention before I close this video out are how awesome the trigger stops have been for my gameplay in Call of Duty. Uh, these things can be adjusted to be like hair triggers and you barely push them and you're already aiming down sights or firing and that has been a game changer for me. I can feel 
like the actual responsiveness in this thing and it works really, really well. I will say it's a little cumbersome to make adjustments to it. And if you go too far with the little Allen key on this, uh, you will end up screwing up and you'll think that the controller's either messed up or the game. And that just goes to show that I'm very inexperienced when it comes to using this type of controller. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and say that I have enjoyed my first impressions or my first impressions of this controller are really, uh, really good. And I would recommend one to you based off my first impressions. I will end up doing a long-term review of this thing because I've heard some issues with the back paddles becoming non-responsive and whatnot, but I haven't had any issues. Everything has worked really great in the past uh, 48 hours that I've used this controller. That about does it for me in this one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Until next time, I'm Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.